Hey everybody, Coach Rael here, and I've been getting a lot of questions lately um, from brides-to-be, people getting ready for that big special day, um, and so what I've decided to do is I'm going to actually do a blog. I'm going to answer a lot of those questions. I've probably helped, you know, in the past 30 years, hundreds of brides get ready and get ready for that big special day, and it is a big special day. You know, people spend tens of thousands of dollars for it. You've only got one chance in it. You know, when me and my wife got married, we really understood the importance of that day. And we put a lot of money into our videographer and our still photographer because we knew when the day was gone, the cake would be gone, the flowers would be gone, the balloons would be gone. So as I always train with my clients, you know, let's get ready for that special day and let's look the best that we can because we got those pictures forever. And when we're old and with our grandchildren, we can always go, look at mom, look at, look at how good mom looked. And we'll always have that. So I put together what is probably the top 10 and there's actually some bonus in here questions and to do my best to help you, to guide you, to give you some good answers, give you some good resources to go to, to help you with these. So let's dive into this. The number one question I get is, how do I lose weight for my wedding? Well, it, it all starts with a choice. You got to make a choice and just, you know, life is about choices. And a lot of times when I tell people, when you're ready to make that choice, just make it. Don't do it next week or tomorrow or when I got more time or I got more money or, you know, just make that choice now. Get started. I always say it's good to do it with an accountability partner. You know, you're getting married. Do it, do it with your wedding party. Get, it, get a bunch of your girls together and say, hey, girls, let's do this. We're going to get together and we're going to get in the best shape of our life and we're going to have fun doing this. And that's probably the best thing to do as a group. Hey, we're going to get married as a group. Let's get in the best shape as a group. So that's the first thing. Just make a choice. Take action and get it done. Uh, number two, what are the best butt and leg workouts? Okay. Well, we all want <laughs> That's uh, probably uh, next to abs. That's probably the most common things that I get. Well, to me, I'm a huge squat fan. I love squats and I love lunges. There's nothing better. It's ladies' best friends. You can lunge, 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 squat, squats. There's front squats, back squats, zirkin squats, overhead squats. There's lunges with a twist, all kind of lunges. I've included a couple links to some great websites that got most of the top squat exercises there. Explosive squats is huge. You know, coupling that with sprinting, running, um, doing your best, okay, even moving fast, do some heavy squats. I'm a big advocate of heavy. You're going to hear me say that several times. I do not lift light. You know, always good form first, but as heavy as possible. Ladies, you're not going to look like us. You're not going to look like a man, trust me. You want to build lean muscle to burn fat, okay? So check out these links that I put in there. Go in there. The, uh, the, I've also put the squat gauntlet in there. Oh, that is one of my favorite routines ever. Will help you to get jacked. Okay, so number three. My wedding is in April. When should I start? Now. My wedding is in December. When should I start? Now. Once again, just take action. Get started now. Start moving the ball down the field, as I say. I'm a football coach, so just start moving it down the field. Don't wait till the last minute. You're going to have too much on your plate, and you're going to get overwhelmed and stressed, okay? Number four, do I get to eat? Yes. Listen, this is probably, I'm going to do a double one here. The number one mistake women make when trying to lose weight, feel great, get in the best shape of their life, not just for their wedding in general, is they don't eat. They do not eat. This 1,200 calorie thing is not human. I got figure girls getting ready for a figure show, and on that last 12 weeks, when they're getting really, really serious, they're on an 1,800 calorie, you know, cut down, shred down, you know, program. So this 1,200 calorie thing is absolutely no bueno. You get to eat, and you get to eat a lot. You get to enjoy life. God created you to eat. We just want to make smart choices, okay? So it's about the food choices, how much, you know, and here's the thing. Reach out to me. I'd be happy to calculate your calorie count for you. I use MyFitnessPal.com. We can become friends together. I can help you out there. But it's like you need to know your calorie count because everybody's different. 
We all have different starting parts and points and different goals. But if you don't have a calorie count, it's just like shooting an arrow in the sky. You, you need to know where you're going and, and how to get there. So I'm happy to help you with that. Number five, um, how many calories is right? Well, I just dealt with that, okay? Get with me. Reach out to me. I will help calculate that for you. It's very, very important. Um, number six is... How do I lose pounds and relieve gas and bloating? Okay, that's a big, you know, that's very, very common in women. The, a lot of women are not regular. Um, and regular by doctor standards is one to three times a day. They get bloated. They get, you know, I, I get that. I understand that. I've been in that situation. Not a lot of fun. Um, not a lot of fun when you got gas and you're trying to look cool and look beautiful, <laughs> you know, and it's certainly not fun being bloated and not going to the bathroom. So, you know, yogurt has been very, very popular over the past, you know, decade or so, becoming more and more popular, taking different yogurts and, and stuff like that. One of the products out there um, that's very, very popular actually has rat droppings and stuff like that in it. So, you know, do your own research on it. But what I can tell you, a good probiotic is very, very powerful. You know, I'm a big fan of the Avocare probiotics. Dr. Oz recommends it on his show. If it's good enough for Dr. Oz, I think he knows a little bit about what he's talking about. You know, and cleansing. Cleansing is very, very important. And, you know, once again, I use the Avocare Cleanse. Uh, Dr. Oz recommends it on his show. I put some links on here with some very important information for you to do your own research. But it's important. So that brings me to the next question. When do I cleanse? How often do you cleanse? Well, a good uh, way to... To gauge it is uh, every 90 days, every season change, that's a good time to cleanse. So some of you are watching this and you've never ever cleansed. Think about that. Women, if you never changed your lint filter in your dryer for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, how good would that be working right now? And it's really the same thing. You need to clean out your intestines, scrub out those intestines. The average women can have up to 10 to 17 pounds of fecal waste, toxicities, all kind of nasty stuff stuck in her intestines. So when we're trying to absorb that good nutrition and get rid of stuff, hey, it's not working. Bloating, gas, all that stuff, and all kind of other complications down the road can happen. So it's really, really important every 90 days, every season change, and or, you know, when you hit a plateau, you're on a program, you hit a plateau, good time to cleanse. You just went on vacation, and we'll jump, didn't fall off the wagon, you dove off the wagon, you got crazy, good time to cleanse, you know, get back on track. Um, so, and Omega Plex, right? Omega Plex, yes. Very, very important. It exchanges bad fats with good fats. It's very good for your hair, your nails, your skin. Once again, you know, you're going to hear me say it several times. I'm a big advocate, advocate, and for reason. I've tried everything in my life. That's my job to check it out. And a client just asked me the other day, why Avocare? And I told her, listen, I've tried every product in the, in the world pretty much, you know, good, bad, different, legal, illegal, and everybody's had a chance. For, I never used to use supplementation. I didn't believe in it because I never found anything I liked. Avocare came along. Everybody else had a chance before Avocare. I jumped into Avocare because I saw the difference. I saw the science behind it. I'm all about the science. So yes, I'm a big fan of Avocare. But Omegaplex, once again, don't take my word for it. Dr. Oz recommends the Avocare Omegaplex for your, you know, your fish oils, a good Omegaplex to be taken. So let's go on, help you out here. Number six, how do I deal with all the stress? Wow, I can't even imagine when we were getting married, I just said, whatever you want, honey. Yes, honey. And, you know, the decisions, you're going to make an average of 177 decisions at least as you're going down that road to getting married. So it's really, really important that, you know, you take time to yourself. Take some quiet time in the morning. Don't get on Facebook. Don't get on Twitter. Don't turn on the news. Have some me time. Do what's important. You listen to some calming music. Listen to some, you know, if you're into gospel music, listen to some motivational tapes. Just go for a drive. Make it about, go to a boxing class. That's a great way to relieve stress. Hit that bag. Put a picture of somebody up on there if you need to, you know. But it's really, really important that you have some me time and you get rid of some of that aggression. You know, find what works for you. I like to run. Um, I don't run fast. 
I just like to put my headphones on. I like to run. I like to come down here in the morning, have a quiet time. But it's really, really important. I really encourage you to have that me time first thing in the morning. Look in the mirror. Tell yourself you're beautiful. I am great. I am awesome. Protect yourself from all that negativity, the dream stealers, the adversity, all of that out there. Um, number seven, how do I make my arms and shoulders look good? Awesome question because you know what? To me, the shoulders are like the coat hangers. That's what that beautiful dress is going to hang on. So, yes, it is really important. Most of us have them sh showing, you know. And once again, I put some exercises on there where I that's a, got some great exercises. Check out that link. But one of my favorites, I can just show you right here, okay, is I take a set of dumbbells. I hold them here, and I bend over on a 45-degree angle like that, and I work the side shoulders just like that. Boom. Like that, you know, 8 to 10, like that. Then I'm going to sit straight up, same thing, straight arms, going to go like this, to the side. Boom, hitting the side right there, like that. Then I'm going to come to the front, boom, like that, okay? Come over here, press it up, burn it out, nice, and then come once again, bend over, hitting the back, like that. That is a great routine, 10, 10, 10, 10, really burns at the shoulders, and if you really want to burn it, come down here at the end when you're burned out, point your wrist up like this, can you see, hold the dumbbells like this, really focus right here on this muscle and just go, mm, 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 mm. burn it like that, woo, cut up those bad boys, okay, I call those the coat hangers, it's really, really important, check them out, check out the links I put in there, give you some good exercises as well. Okay, moving on. Now, how, oh yeah, yeah. How do I lose those love handles, right? Not really cool. Got this slim fitting wedding dress and boom, we got some love handles. I know you want your husband to go, but you know, let's start off right. Get rid of those love handles. Um, you know, uh, I love the stability ball. I do stability ball crunches. I've included that video in here. One of my number one exercises. I've used that for over 30 years. It's phenomenal. I also like Russian twists. That's a really good one, Russian twist. The straight up plank, just your basic plank on your elbows, phenomenal. Start with 36 seconds in the morning, 30 seconds before night, before you go to bed. Do a side plank on the side, left plank. I also put a link in here for some great exercises to help you to get in some great shape. Slim down that way.